Mary doesn't mean what you think it means. This is a volleyball. If you push it in the water, what happens? It pops back up. That's what Mary means. Mary means joyful. Joyful means unsinkable. Is life sinking you? Then you're not married. Are you anxious? Are you afraid? Are you not happy? Then you're sinking. You're not married. Welcome to Advent Devotionals, day three. Proverbs 17, 22 says this, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. Notice that merry is connected to medicine, but broken is connected to bones that are dried. Check out these chickens. On Kauai, we have feral chickens, which means they are absolutely everywhere. And as a black man with a Baptist background, I love me some chicken. What happens when you finish your chicken and the bone is left and you throw it away? Sometimes when I'm throwing out the trash or I'm taking the trash out to the side of the road, I'll see those chicken bones at the bottom of a trash bag and they'll be all dried out and nasty. That drying process happens naturally. If a merry heart is like good medicine, then a broken spirit is like dried bones. Drying happens naturally, but medicine has to be taken. What does medicine do? It heals. It relieves pain. Lucy is teething. And so what we have to do is put medicine inside of this syringe and hold her down in order for her to take it. Medicine has to be taken. And most of the time, most medicines don't taste very good. And we take it like Lucy, almost forcing ourselves to. The benefits are needed. The second half of this verse reveals why we are not Mary, we are the ones that have a broken spirit. And it's as if our bones are drying out. Dried bones is a picture of death in the book of Ezekiel. This verse shows us how to be Mary. Notice it says that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine. We have to take on the merry heart if we want the benefits. But if our spirit is broken and our bones are dried, how do we take the merry heart? You've heard the phrase, a tough pill to swallow. There was never a pill more hard to swallow than the cross and the wrath of eternal punishment towards our sins. Because on the cross, he took the bitter medicine so we could have the benefits of being merry. This is why Jesus is the great physician. This is why the prophecies talk about him coming to heal us, to create in us a new heart, to take away our heart of stone and give us a heart of flesh. He was the one that was going to give us this new heart. And now he has come. His advent is here. And the cross is where the exchange happens. Because on the cross, Jesus's heart was ruined so ours could be renewed. In fact, just like my baby doesn't like taking medicine, Jesus came to earth as a baby and every single day, every moment of the day, he was swallowing the pills that we didn't want to swallow. Through humility, he was constantly lowering himself, swallowing those tough pills that we couldn't digest, we couldn't put down. Amen. Now that we know how to be merry, my question to you is, what will you do this Christmas with your merry heart? Thanks guys. Thank you guys for watching this. Let me know the answer in the comments. Bless you, my name's Alex. If you wanna hear more messages like this, longer form, podcast form, check out amenpodcast.com. If you wanna support this channel or support the podcast or support this series, go to amenpodcast.com to get involved. Love you, see you in the next one.